a topic uh, for delivery is uh, uh, promising technology interventions and challenges in millet production so you might have <clears throat> listened during course of <clears throat> this training uh, period many uh, technology developed by research organization and uh, 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 its availability uh, where from it is available uh, but here uh, uh, i am going to uh, explain that what are out of that technology because all the technology all the uh, uh, this millets uh, uh, improved package of practices also that are not uh, uh, most of the most of the time uh, practicable and uh, also uh, adaptable to the farmers so whatever uh, out of this technology whatever technology have been uh, tested in the farmers field uh, uh, through various extension programs and uh, those technologies have really potential to enhance our yield and ultimately our farmers' income. So that uh, I will be uh, uh, covering in this uh, uh, topic and uh, followed by what are the ch challenges uh, uh, faced by the uh, millet growers in, in their production. So this is my uh, this thing. Now uh, I'm coming to next. Uh, Yes, it is not moving. Spandita is not moving. How to go ahead? Then uh, yes. it's not moving, sir. Yeah. Yes. No, no, it is second slide, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next slide, sir. Yeah. So all you know, the this is the millets is a family of nine crops, including uh, all the uh, pearl millet, sorghum. Finger millet, foxtail millet, kodo millet, little millet, prosso millet, barnet millet, and one more uh, has been added that is least uh, recently that is brown top millet. Why? Because this brown top millet, uh, uh, you see, uh, recently it has a very high price in the market in uh, Hyderabad market. Uh, uh, two years before it was 350 rupees per kg and many even IT professionals also have come up uh, to um, uh, to start this farming of this uh, brown top millet due to that price. But when uh, many people have started growing this uh, brown top millet, then price has gone down. But uh, it is uh, still more. Uh, uh, just now, yesterday I heard that uh, still uh, 250 rupees kg uh, uh, is available in the uh, price is uh, <coughs> there in the in the market. So. It's uh, uh, costly, so uh, price is also good. So that's what uh, many farmers, many producers are attracting towards you know, its cultivation. Then, uh, despite this thing, uh, so out of this uh, millet family, uh, question uh, may come that uh, why uh, this uh, millet needs promotion? Uh, what is there in that millet? So uh, uh, production point of view, even consumption point of view. So uh, you might have uh, heard up to that uh, millets are climate uh, resilient crop that can be adapted in any adverse uh, climate condition, whether it is a highly drought, pro, uh, drought uh, type condition or a, whether there is a water logging condition also, uh, few millets can sustain well, uh, unlike other uh, fine cereal like rice and wheat. And uh, yes, millet uh, are adapted to uh, smallholder farmers' production system also if they have very less resources or um, uh, poor resources like, uh, as per their uh, soil type uh, uh, is concerned. If they have poor type of soil, uh, even though that uh, these millets can be grown well. And millets are nutrient-rich also. You might have heard that uh, nutrition profiles of all the millets. And... Uh, uh, these millets are nearly miss almost uh, uh, by default is organic because most of the farmers they don't use uh, much uh, chemical uh, agrochemical for growing it and uh, yes of course uh, therefore uh, as compared to other crop it require very less uh, agrochemical so uh, therefore it is a eco friendly crops also then uh, uh, most of the people they told that we, we are growing this millet since our uh, forefather but uh, it is not uh, gaining uh, momentum so one of the major reason that uh, that is productivity because it is uh, having very low productivity that's what uh, farmers are discouraging to cultivate further because they are not getting much um, uh, benefit so uh, nowadays we have uh, many uh, cultivars, uh, maybe uh, some hybrids, some uh, uh, <coughs> varieties are available in uh, in all the millet crops, uh, which are also suitable for the farmers' uh, ecology. 
so millet products uh, have also multiple uses not only uh, these millets are being used for fodder but uh, uh, sorry food and fodder but also various uh, industrial uses are have also um, come up uh, nowadays it is also being uh, used as a starch use uh, it is also um, uh, uh, use uh, to produce ethanol and so many uh, this uh, uh, big uh, means uh, value added products uh, uh, bakery products and so many um, uh, products are there and uh, they are having very high potential to earn the profit uh, yes uh, uh, not only this uh, millet provides uh, help us to prepare uh, traditional food but uh, we can prepare some modern food like uh, pasta noodles and muffins kind of thing which our young generation likes more so that's uh, uh, after in, in in addition to that it is also uh, providing a, a very good quality of green forage if under dry, uh, heavy dry spell long dry long spell long spell dry condition if uh, uh, some millet they cannot give grain but it, it definitely give uh, fodder to the farmer in case of uh, for millet and sorghum you can observe that if uh, they uh, don't uh, give uh, grain but it can give a uh, good quality of uh, uh, fodder to our cattle so uh, uh, when we uh, talk about that millets are uh, climate resilient and eco friendly and so uh, so on so what is there we need to see what is there what is um, uh, miss uh, their eco water requirement of uh, millet to, to complete their uh, life cycle in a season so when we compare with the sugarcane rice groundnut other crops you can see finger millet require only 350 uh, mm uh, uh, water to complete their life span even sorghum and per millet, you can see very less amount of uh, uh, water is required. So um, we can say that is a, a very uh, uh, means not require much uh, uh, key inputs and can sustain well in the uh, water less water condition also. And in addition to that, it requires less fertilizer compared to other uh, crop like maize and uh, other um, uh, wheat or rice. And uh, yes, uh, it. Uh, 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 gives the nutrition security to the uh, people, those people who are staying uh, in a remote area or those, those who cannot afford good quality food. So, uh, uh, due to this, uh, by seeing this characteristic of these millets, uh, it can be used as a contingency crop under when uh, major crops get failure due to dry, long, um, uh, means, uh, uh, drought, uh, uh, means long drought uh, spell or uh, any uh, calamity, natural calamity, if your crop gets uh, spoiled, then uh, these uh, crops can be uh, used as a contingency, uh, contingency crop. Why? Because uh, under, uh, in this millet family, there are few crops that can be grown under very short period. That is, uh, we can say 70 days to uh, 85 days also. But uh, despite of this characteristic, uh, if you see the area, uh, of these crops are going down, uh, uh, have been uh, reduced uh, drastically. Uh, but however, when you see the production and productivity has gone up uh, uh, very high, uh, the production 32% uh, higher than earlier period. Uh, why it is uh, so happened? Because of uh, advancement of technology and their you know, potential of the technology have shown that uh, uh, thing to, to the producer that we can uh, produce the equal quantity of uh, uh, production from the reduced area also, so that we can uh, provide some area to the commercial crop like cotton and soybean. So that is that is a it is showing that is the potential of the production technology. So what are the technology and uh, now that thing we will discuss uh, in details but uh, from these uh, crops uh, or uh, in general also uh, farmers expecting uh, few major goals uh, from their agriculture crops for one foremost uh, goal is their, their economic security uh, they always try to uh, find out that how uh, they can enhance their farmers uh, their, their income uh, and for that also they are ready to spend a good amount of money also uh, as you've seen in the uh, commercial crop other crop means uh, maybe cotton sugarcane or grapes like that so farmers are ready to spend any amount of uh, money if uh, they have some security to get uh, income out of it 
then second security is a food security third security is expecting uh, that is a fodder security fourth one is nutrition and health security and most important is ecological security because of continuous growing of uh, rice and wheat and other uh, routine crops so uh, it will be uh, resulted it is resulting into a deterioration of the soil so uh, we need to find out some uh, alternate crops that can maintain our ecological sustainability also then uh, up, if your foremost uh, uh, goal is enhancing farmers income then how it can be do uh, how it can be done so there are uh, only uh, four points uh, what i feel uh, uh, to enhance the farmers income that is by increasing productivity but that is not uh, uh, true that if you uh, increase the productivity to the high uh, level so that time only uh, that year uh, you will face the problem of marketing in if you uh, take uh, your produce to the market there will be a very low price in the same year so there is no guarantee but there is guarantee of increasing your productivity you are getting high yield so uh, second uh, point is to increase your income that is reducing cost of cultivation by judicial uh, judicious use of the uh, inputs because nowadays inputs are also having high cost third point is by increasing marketing opportunity if uh, everybody uh, knows that if there is a lot uh, demand is high then uh, uh, there, there will be a good price uh, uh, for that commodity in the uh, commodity in the market so uh, we need to think how to increase marketing opportunity by through a value addition and so many th things are there and fourth one is how to see uh, how to sustain their value chain entire value chain uh, means uh, in long term not only this is not a job of one or two years so if that is a profitable opportunity um, uh, so we need to think how to sustain them so uh, uh, what to uh, what technique what strategy we have to use that uh, how to maintain their value chain through uh, any approach any extension kind of approach that is group approach or whatever uh, participatory or approach whatever so just uh, what uh, from our uh, uh, extension program what we realize that uh, what are the prominent millet technology which has potential to enhance the farmers income that is uh, these are the 10 uh, promising promising uh, intervention we could find out that is use of high yielding cultivars if you farmers are using that one that is uh, there is a, a guarantee to uh, get uh, um, uh, at least uh, uh, 20 to 35 percent of higher yield than the uh, their existing practice. Second is the uh, improved practices and timely management. Timely management is very very important as you have seen that in many millet crops there is shoot fly attack and so so on. So if you uh, sow the crop uh, on in time, so that can uh, that problem can be minimized uh, and. Uh, uh, enhance the yield that will help to enhance the yield. Then water conservation practice, say for in case of rabi sorghum, so it is uh, that rabi sorghum is grown on residual moisture. So uh, this water conservation, if you if farmers is following water conservation practices, maybe minimal is that compartmental bunding kind of thing. So that can has uh, uh, potential to enhance the yield up to twenty uh, percent minimum. So uh, then uh, sorghum or millet based intercropping, new niches of uh, millet cultivation also is, uh, for example, that uh, uh, sorghum cultivation in rice fellows or other millet uh, cultivation in rice fellows or maybe uh, uh, soybean fellows also. Then primary processing and value addition. Then mechanization is also very important, uh, playing very crucial role in the uh, getting uh, uh, enhancing farmers' income. I will explain one by one after uh, 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 after work. And uh, yet one is pro um, promotion of biofortified cultivars also as there there are uh, demand of many products in the markets uh, and there are wide uh, uh, category of the. Uh, products are uh, demanded uh, recently in the market uh, right from um, uh, this uh, for children or for uh, adult or maybe uh, old people so there are a lot of scope to promote this biofortified cultivars also then uh, how to uh, sustain this production system through uh, any uh, extension mechanism and then uh, promotion of allied enterprises are also uh, uh, very very important because only solely uh, this uh, millet cultivation will not uh, serve the purpose of enhancing farmers income so uh, in case of uh, 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 sorghum there are four type of sorghum you might be knowing that kharif rabi forage and sweet sorghum also 
so there are uh, good uh, uh, number of uh, uh, i can say promising varieties and cultivars are also there so in uh, kharip uh, production technology there are mostly uh, hybrids are dominated so uh, these uh, uh, hybrids which has been developed from the uh, public uh, uh, research uh, system so that uh, have very high potential uh, in the farmers field to enhance the um, yield and ultimately income if uh, because uh, last uh, two uh, years we are not uh, finding any uh, long uh, uh, dot type of condition but before that if you see there were uh, long dry, dry uh, dot type of condition was there so if you put some organic mulch in the field by using your any uh, byproduct of your produce maybe paddy straw or wheat straw whatever it is available in that uh, uh, crop so that can enhance uh, uh, the uh, income uh, at uh, around uh, 5 to 10 percent more so this simple practice can uh, has a, um, um, potential to enhance a lot of uh, yield so when we have um, uh, tested in the farmers field all this technology uh, uh, in uh, this uh, kharif sorghum uh, uh, cultivars so we found that uh, uh, we have got 40 percent higher uh, yield uh, then the, uh, their farmers uh, practice here, uh, blue color is farmers practice and uh, this pink color is uh, our uh, FLD uh, tested uh, technology. And uh, similarly, you see the store yield also has been enhanced 20% over the farmers practice. And uh, uh, then coming to sing, uh, that forest sorghum, there are two type of uh, uh, forage, uh, that single cut, uh, uh, which can be... Uh, uh, grown uh, during the uh, rainy season and uh, multi-cut those who have irrigation facilities they can take multi-cut so a uh, good type of uh, uh, cultivar promising cultivars are av available and there's a that are uh, very much popular in north india also uh, when i took uh, uh, already uh, told you that Ravi Sorghum is grown on the residual moisture. So if you follow this only five practice, capsule of five practices, that insectivum moisture conservation, uh, use of soil type of specific variety, because um, same variety can, can't perform in all uh, soil type, uh, maybe uh, light uh, soil or uh, deep soil or uh, medium soil. If you uh, choose that uh, soil type uh, specific varieties, so there will be uh, more guarantee to get uh, higher in uh, higher yield. So then uh, optimum uh, so, so, sowing time should be follow interculture practices practices and irrigation scheduling. That is very much important if uh, on uh, as per availability of the irrigation. So these are the uh, five uh, miss. Uh, five uh, practices capsule we have already tested in the pharma field and we have got a very significant uh, tooth uh, from that and these are some of the moisture conservation technology followed in the rabi sorghum that is compartmental bund you can see in the, uh, with the help of this tractor this uh, small small bunds can, can are being prepared during a kharif season and the, that water can be stored of the monsoon and the, after that uh, uh, in, in case of uh, in the month of september or october uh, we can sow this uh, Ravi's uh, sorghum. So by doing this, uh, you, uh, what we realize that more than twenty uh, percent of uh, uh, more higher yield uh, uh, we have got by under this uh, compartmental bank um, um, uh, bending practices. So that much potential it has, and all this uh, technology that Ravi uh, sorghum uh, were tested under FLD. So we found that uh, thirty percent higher. Um, grain yield over the farmers practice and 21% uh, of higher uh, store yield we have obtained. And um, uh, in case of uh, sweet sorghum, uh, we have very promising um, cultivars, uh, hybrid and uh, uh, varieties are also available that is uh, having a big percent of 70 to 80 percent which is at par with the sugar cane so in comparison with the sugar cane it will require very low input and uh, 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 less uh, duration it can come up with uh, within four uh, months period uh, uh, compared to uh, uh, sugar cane but in case of this uh, thing we can prepare jaggery out of it but we can't prepare that uh, sugar because it, it, uh, this uh, uh, sweet, uh, this cannot be crystallized. So, uh, and further it can be uh, uh, processed and we can uh, prepare uh, uh, potable alcohol and uh, after that for, uh, uh, fermentation, we can go for ethanol. So, ethanol yield can be obtained up to, to 1200 to 1300 liter per hectare. That much potential it has. Then coming to the per minute, per minute, uh, 
uh, you know uh, this is 100 or uh, 110 days crop but we have recent uh, the recent advancement uh, in the research we have uh, short duration crop also uh, to 78 days to 81 days also so that much uh, um, uh, technology is available in case of finger millet there are a lot of uh, uh, this promising variety and uh, uh, these are uh, one of the gully method also that has a uh, potential to increase uh, up to 18 to 20 quintal per acre yield you can uh, imagine that uh, if you follow simple technique that can has potential to enhance the yield by uh, this uh, many fold we have tested this and we found that 50 percent higher uh, yield than the farmers practice in case of uh, foxtail millets also there are very promising varieties are there and we have uh, tested in the farmers field you can see that this farmers field result it is not our research field result it is farmers field result only this is in case of kodo millets also there is a very uh, promising variety and short duration varieties are also available that were that were tested and this is this is the data of last uh, 12 years data and uh, there uh, around 69 percent of higher yield we have obtained uh, than the farmers practice in case of bar barnet millets also uh, same results we have got and in case of little millets uh, there are some short duration varieties are also available and uh, these are very promising and that are represented into 64 percent of higher yield than the farmers practice in case of uh, similarly in case of prosum millets also it is short duration crop and it went up to 137 percent of higher yield than the farmers practice that much potential and these are some of the cultivation practices are to be followed in different uh, millet crop uh, that is uh, management practices and nutrition practices plant protection and so on now uh, uh, some challenges are there some uh, major pests are there that is in case of uh, uh, the sorghum and other crops also should fly is, uh, but it uh, should fly can be controlled if you detect at a right time at a um, uh, time of uh, uh, that laying eggs eggs laying stage so uh, that time if you take control measure that can be uh, control, um, managed easily if you uh, follow the timing of the sowing that that is also very effective measures to control this thing and then nowadays fall marmi were also one of the major uh, challenge in case of sorghum because after uh, eating this maize crop they are coming to sorghum and eating this thing but even though there is no much uh, significant yield loss but uh, it is uh, deterring uh, this uh, yield uh, of the store so we have a package of this uh, control and aphids also in, uh, under uh, this cold uh, condition aphids is attacking uh, uh, um, attacking on our uh, yeah, rabi sorghum so that we have uh, good control measures uh, this thing and ma major uh, disease problem in the uh, finger millet that is a uh, that is a different uh, uh, type of blast uh, and uh, uh, blights are also there so that can be easily managed but uh, in case of uh, this uh, as i told you uh, only sole crop cannot solve, solve the purpose so there are promising uh, tested intercropping uh, this is a intercropping is sorghum pigeon pea is very well known and very old also that is very promising but other uh, intercropping with the sorghum with cow pea sorghum with soybean are very well found to be very promising and uh, for suitable uh, some suitable uh, cultivar uh, hybrids are also uh, there which can be well suited for with this, this this thing so if you see the some results of this uh, intercropping you can find uh, it is uh, uh, far far better than the sole sorghum crop the, uh, in case of this uh, intercropping and that can reduce the risk of the failure of the crop also and in case of crop sequence means what to what crop uh, uh, to be sown in the kharif and followed by rabi so that these are the some of the crop sequence are also there which are found to be very provisioning when uh, in case of mixed cropping also with the sorghum plus chickpea during rabi was also found to be very uh, comfortable uh, these are the intercrop with other uh, millets uh, like uh, pearl millet, uh, barnet millet and so on. So uh, then uh, uh, there are mm, some uh, uh, production technology that is very uh, high in demand like uh, organic millet production and uh, uh, so, but that that can be done uh, uh, through group approach. If uh, farmers are coming to be together, that it can be done because uh, they need to follow some organic uh, uh, farming norms and all this uh, those things. So there are a lot of uh, opportunity to uh, uh, 
export that organic uh, produce and earn uh, more money and allied uh, enterprises also we have tested that back at poultry and uh, dairy and goat rearing also so that this uh, we can say waste product or by product of this millet that is broken grain and all, all those uh, and fodder and straw that can be utilized to uh, to maintain this allied uh, enterprise uh, farming enterprises and uh, earn a lot of uh, uh, profit, profit, profit out of this millet cultivation and yes uh, there are so many recipes are there uh, at a different uh, uh, to the large uh, uh, scale uh, we have already uh, developed so if uh, uh, we can do the value addition of this uh, uh, millet uh, produce grain the, the there is a lot of opportunity to earn a higher uh, money and uh, establish entrepreneurship so similarly, not only this food product value addition, but if value addition can be done in case of fodder, if any entrepreneur can uh, prepare that bales and uh, uh, kind of thing, so they can also earn a lot of money by selling it in the uh, forage scarcity area uh, where uh, there is a acute uh, shortage of this uh, uh, fodder. Now, uh, all those things are not uh, uh, that much easy, but I, I already explained it, but there are uh, some challenges uh, in case of this uh, production, uh, millet production, but this, these challenges are not that much uh, uh, very uh, big uh, as compared to other uh, crops because uh, for, for, for most challenge what we have seen that low productivity of the millets so that can be addressed by adopting uh, yielding cultivars uh, it is a uh, labor intensive uh, but nowadays these millets crop are being uh, damaged by the birds and wild animals that is also bigger challenge Unavailability of quality seed at grass level, declining area under millet that can be addressed through our uh, to find out niche area like uh, rice fellow, uh, sorghum, or rice fellow, other millets. Inconveniences cooking and marketing that has been addressed through by uh, developing various products, uh, uh, ready to eat products also. And we have introduced some uh, roti making machine. I will show one by one. Uh, I'm coming to this thing. So, for first challenge is labor intensive. You, if you will see uh, uh, different components of cost of cultivation, around 55% of uh, cost of uh, cultivation is going for human labor. So, so we need to address this uh, issue by uh, uh, introducing some machinery wherever it, uh, wherever it is possible. Say for example, mechanization. So uh, if you sow the crop in line, the, then it will be easy to uh, do this weeding uh, with the help of this cycle weeder or whatever is available. And ultimately your labor requirement and labor cost will be uh, reduced. So out of this 55% of cost of labor, major share is also going for the harvesting, miscutting of this thing. So uh, in case of these small millets, uh, these reapers are available, which are being demonstrated by the various uh, state departments and these are from to be very effective if you farmer can use this reaper so their uh, labor requirement can be reduced and uh, their uh, their um, cost of uh, cultivation also can be reduced one more problem that uh, when farmers is producing they not getting uh, de desirable price but when uh, semi urban uh, uh, city or, or, or urban area people are going to purchase 1 kg of this sorghum maybe uh, ragi so they have to pay 100 rupees per, per kg so what is there so the, if farmers can do uh, only two three operations that because farmers produce is having a lot of dirt materials that can be clean if they can clean it up then destone it up and then uh, uh, that can be graded and that can be packed so Farmers himself, they can uh, get uh, uh, around uh, three to four times high, more uh, price uh, for, for that uh, produce. So uh, there means uh, those who are earning uh, money uh, by doing this primary processing, so that can be arrested and that this facility can be uh, generated at a village level itself because it is not required much cost because each machinery, two, three machineries are very much required, but uh, that is not much more cost. It's, each one is uh, around uh, 50,000 rupees. So if farmers can do in a um, uh, group, so that will be very successful. Likewise, we have uh, around uh, 14, 15 primary processing units have already been uh, established at uh, different uh, uh, villages. In different... Then in case of um, uh, this uh, PP unit where we have 
established this list has been given this is one of the why um, uh, village in hingoli district of maharashtra you can see it is operated by the bulak this entire unit is operated by the bulak because uh, you know, for bulak also the, during slack season there is no work so that bulak energy that uh, if you put bullet here, they can rotate this thing and that energy can be converted into um, uh, the running this machine and that can be operated and uh, this can be uh, done easily. So this is one of the successful this thing. So likewise, we have established many this thing and uh, to address some seed problem, seed availability or quality seed supply. Uh, so we have uh, developed uh, um, this uh, seed hub at uh, the different parts of the country. You can see the leaves, list. Uh, if you are nearby, you can uh, have a seed uh, from their, their center. As, as I told that uh, if uh, area is reduced, that can be uh, address the problem to introduce these millets in new uh, niches like uh, rice fellow sorghum. This is a story of Guntur district of Andhra Pradesh. And uh, here we got the yield up to 8.6 two ton per hectare of the sorghum, whereas, whereas our uh, national productivity of sorghum is below one ton. So eight times more you can see. So uh, this uh, yeah, this much potential area we need to find out and we can sow the crop. Likewise, we have, uh, inter, miss, we have uh, we conducted trial in case of Gatchiruli district also in rice fallow and other uh, type of area. So this crop can be bonus crop for them. No need to uh, put any input or something like that. Only sowing the, they have to do under moisture condition. That's all. So ultimately, uh, this, this uh, uh, our uh, trial has been uh, resulted into. You can see our that that uh, district average of the Guntur uh, Guntur that has. Uh, Is, uh, this is from uh, Gatchiroli area, this is from other uh, Odisha area. So there are a lot of scope to um, cultivate this sorghum, uh, this millet's crop in different niches. And yes, uh, as I told, uh, if uh, in uh, case of preparation of traditional uh, food product like uh, uh, chapati or uh, uh, roti from Jawar or something. These ladies are facing a lot of problems. It, it is very uh, cumbersome process. So uh, one fabricator has uh, uh, developed this roti maker. It is uh, only uh, very, uh, uh, it is like a mixture type of thing. So it can be operated easily. And uh, uh, even one uh, one ladies can uh, prepare uh, around 50 rotis within one hour uh, easily. And that roti is also like uh, our wheat roti, so you, our uh, children are also can uh, uh, eat it easily. And likewise, uh, many uh, products are there uh, for value addition. These are the uh, how we are popularizing these products. We are our van is going to the, this uh, public part during holiday, and there are a lot of demand in the um, uh, major main main city. So likewise, the uh, demand can be uh, de demand is continuously being increased. So when demand will be increased, but there should be supply, should be sustained. So for supply purpose, farmers have a lot of scope to prepare this. Uh, so likewise, we are. Uh, 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 means giving training, we are conducting from uh, uh, some trials uh, how to uh, produce uh, uh, some, uh, millets scientifically and also how to prepare their uh, value added products so that not only uh, only high five value added product but also we are taking care of what are the locally available at the village level or block level, what are uh, as per their local. Uh, people preferences we are promoting this uh, value added products and we are training the many uh, uh, women groups also so uh, to provide uh, uh, timely advisory because all the time it is not possible to contact us uh, with uh, this uh, institute so uh, we have developed uh, one millet first uh, uh, this mobile app so if you uh, uh, download this app so uh, it, it can get uh, give you information, latest information and how to cultivate uh, uh, millet scientifically. Uh, likewise, we are, we are also uh, running some WhatsApp group and uh, through which we are providing some uh, solution to the uh, farmers through uh, whatever they are facing and we are providing timely solution to uh, protect their crop. As I told that uh, one of the major problems nowadays uh, farmers are facing that is uh, damaged by the birds and uh, wild animals. 
बर्ड्स वी डोंट हैव सो फार वेरी गुड मतलब प्रॉमिसिंग कंट्रोल मेजर बट फॉर कंट्रोलिंग दिस वाइल्ड एनिमल सो दिस हर्बोली वन ऑफ दिस सोल्यूशन इज अवेलेबल इट इज नॉट इट इज ऑर्गेनिक ओनली इट इज नॉट केमिकल सो इफ यू स्प्रे दिस सोल्यूशन ऑन द क्रॉप so even your miss uh, what we observe in our field that uh, wild boar are coming but they are not touching even a single plant after spraying of this thing and it will uh, last up to uh, 20 days so which is found to be very uh, effective to control animal but in case of to control the uh, you know, birds so uh, for that purpose they have miss farmers have to uh, grow this crop in group nearby field if they are uh, growing in isolated field then uh, there won't be Uh, any uh, significant uh, control so uh, uh, marketing purpose we have for uh, millet market app there uh, mm -hmm. if there are two parties there so one is producer and another is a buyer so if uh, uh, buyer want to buy some material uh, means uh, uh, maybe uh, millet grain or millet food products or fodder or seed whatever so uh, uh, here for producer means farmers uh, uh, has to put their information register their information as the moment he register their information it will go to the buyer and buyer can contact to the concerned uh, producer or farmer and they can do the uh, transaction so likewise we are providing one uh, common plat platform to them and we are also mm -hmm. trying to uh, build up a linkage with the big big players Big big malls or big big this Britannia and food industry people so that demand can be enhanced. So uh, for this uh, uh, value addition promotion uh, can be done through group approach. So we need to develop uh, uh, that uh, um, woman group uh, mm -hmm. and uh, self help group kind of thing and or also FPO also they can help a lot uh, to promote this activity. And uh, for to our uh, um uh, those who require some resource material on the latest uh, millet production technology or processing technology this material is available on our website or you may uh, contact with me on this uh, contact so i'll be happy to uh, 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 to share some